This is Good Morning Sun Coast. We're here for you. Good morning and thanks for joining us. I'm Jacqueline Matter. Hello, Josh Stone. I'm Don Brennan. Indeed, thank you for joining us on this New Year's Eve Eve as we get ready for the big celebration bringing in 2017. It's Should be finally of... Friday as well. I know. We finally <laughs> made it. Finally made it. The last Friday of 2016. Yeah. Here Let's it see. is. <laughs> and here it is. Uh, yeah, we've been planning for this Friday for uh, several days now right. because of the change in the weather. And when we woke up this morning and came into work, we sure felt it. Yeah, I was going to tell you, when I woke up this morning, I was freezing when I walked out the door. There you go. Well, yeah, we, uh, we knew something was going to happen, and it has arrived. And that's why the National Weather Service has issued a lot of these uh, advisories and statements. Um, it's not really going to be a good swimming or boating day. We have a small craft advisory, a high surf advisory, high rip current risk, and also a red flag warning that goes into effect at 10 a.m. this morning. The winds are strong. They're out of the north, anywhere from 15 to 20 miles per hour, and some of these wind gusts uh, could crank over or at least to 25 miles per hour. No rain on the map right now. It has passed us by. The front is now to our south, but it's very dry. The dew point uh, are, well, they're, they're a lot uh, less than they were yesterday. Um, yesterday we had dew points in the 60s. It kind of felt a little muggy. Not so much right now. Temperatures, look at this, 55 in Sarasota. What will the high be? We'll let you know in a little bit, guys. All right, thanks a lot, Josh. Taking a look at Sun Coast Roadways. One major concern is I-275 southbound. The road is blocked, so you cannot go southbound over the Sunshine Skyway Bridge due to an accident. I-275 southbound, the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. Uh, it has the road is blocked, and so you cannot get through southbound on the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. And everything else is moving along without any issues this morning, but that is obviously one big issue. Now, topic our news this morning, felony charges have been filed against an 83-year-old Sarasota man who allegedly attacked a car salesman. The man not only drove his car towards the man, but also swung a golf club at him. ABC 7's Ray Collins has that story. You just hit me with your car, sir. I got to be a son of a Yeah, you hit me. You hit my car. You hit me with that. I promise you. Call 911. Don't ever, don't ever do that. You just hit my phone. This is not your typical interaction around a used car sale. The man seen in this video swinging the golf club is 83-year-old Lindsey Owens. Witnesses say he became incensed when he felt misled by a promotional flyer. It may have given the impression he would win a prize if he came by the car sale. I hope you like the boys. I am the boys. I hope you like the boys. He did wind up downtown with the boys. In fact, here he is. Sheriff deputies arrested Owens and charged him with two counts of aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. The guy was like this. He was like, you know, I'm 80 years old. He tried to beat people up. Half a day later, the sales staff in the parking lot of the mall at 41 of Beneva was still talking about the incident the previous night. He got his, he went in the trunk and got his stick and he's about to hit me with it. Were you scared? Yeah, I, actually I jumped behind the car because when he ran in the trunk to pop the trunk, I didn't know what he was going for. I assumed, you know, he's probably going for a gun or something like that. He came out with a golf club. <laughs> Salesman Neef Akbar confirmed Owens was upset. He wasn't going to win a prize as the promotional flyer indicated he might. He had ripped his flyer up and threw it on the ground. This woman also received a promotional flyer. Another little thing that tells you to come out here and see if you can win something. She didn't win and eventually went back home. We told her, though, about the incident the previous night involving the other resident, and she said that's not the way to handle disappointment. That'll get the person who's swinging the golf club in a lot more trouble than just maybe saying a few nasty words. She's right. Owens is facing two felonies, which could take him away from his job. By the way, he's a companion aide for a home health service. Ray Collins, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Wow, crazy situation there. Authorities saying that Owens was arrested at his home and he's being held without bond, but this morning he is on supervised release. Now, the car dealer in the incident also was not from our area, just renting a space at the local mall. The vendor is actually from Port Ritchie, which is north of the Bay Area. 
Today, police are still searching for two men involved in an armed robbery this week. Yeah, it happened on the 2100 block of 1st Street West in Bradenton at the El Paso Market. Take a look at these pictures from the crime scene. The Bradenton Police Department says one of the suspects directed the cashier to empty the register. Then the two male suspects fled the store in a black SUV. Both were seen wearing scarves in an attempt to hide their identities. Anyone with information is asked to contact Crime Stoppers. In Northport, one man's confusion turned into a costly mistake. The police department saying a driver of a van confused his brake and gas pedal, leading him to run into an international food store on Tamiami Trail. The business is temporarily closed until owners can make the necessary repairs. And five stores in Sarasota have been busted for selling alcohol to minors. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office recently held an undercover operation which targeted 25 convenience and liquor stores throughout Sarasota. Five gas station convenience stores were caught selling alcohol to a person under 21. Now those stations included the Circle K and Shell stations on North Tamiami Trail, as well as the 7-Eleven and Marathon stores on Lockwood Ridge Road. Clerks were given a misdemeanor notice at each location. Well, if you haven't noticed yet, today is Friday and everybody seems a little happier. But if you're thinking about taking a swim at the beach this afternoon, you may want to reconsider that. Yeah, Suncoast counties have issued a warning about dangerous rip currents. I had a chance to look into it, and here's a look at what you need to know. Dangerous rip currents and up to five foot swells are keeping many beachgoers close to shore, and it's also keeping lifeguards on their toes. I would say the vast majority of all of our rescues do come from rip currents. The expected cold front will likely create an angry enough surf that can carry you out to sea quickly. While locals know the hazards of rip currents, many tourists are unaware of the dangers they pose. The only thing I really know about rip currents is uh, the other name for it is like an undertow, and it's a current that moves through the ocean and it can carry people out to sea. I know that they'll pull you under. That I know that much. If you're out there without any kind of support to your feet, you're going to get pulled is what I would think. Sarasota County Lifeguard Captain Ray Routh says it's important you're educated on rip currents before ever stepping foot in the water. Know your limitations. Sometimes people overestimate their ability in the water and they find themselves in trouble. If you get in trouble, do not fight the current and try not to panic. Just relax. He says if you find yourself in danger, do not fight the rip current. Tread water, let it dissipate a little bit, swim parallel to shore, and then back in. And if you cannot swim out of the rip current, Ralph says to continue to tread water and float, try again, and call or signal for help. The National Weather Service has issued the Riptide and High Swell Advisory to last until 7 p.m. Friday night. Thank you, Jacqueline. Now, a popular Suncoast event is spiking concerns in Sarasota, about traffic hazards, that is. The Sarasota's Pinecraft neighborhood hosted their annual volleyball tournament yesterday. But not everyone was really thrilled about it. People living in the area calling out event participants for leaving their cars on private property. The situation is raising concerns on a problem throughout the area, and that is lack of parking. Locals say despite efforts to improve the situation, the struggle is ongoing. For any kind of normal traffic going in and out of that area, it's almost impossible. And we've posted signs and done a lot of things to try and prevent it. More than 1,500 players and fans gathered at Palm Grove Church for the event, which is for the 27th year of the tournament. As the new year approaches, the city of Venice is preparing to celebrate its 90th anniversary. Back in 1927, the state legislature changed the designation of Venice from a town to a city. And now they have some big plans for the next year. They will be having their 90th anniversary exhibit at the Venice Museum and Archives starting in February. Also, Venice, Florida tours will begin hosting a series of historical walking tours. And in September, there'll be a beach party on Main Street themed for the anniversary. In Manatee County getting ready for the opening bell at a new high school in Parrish. The school board is purchasing 48 acres for $2.3 million. The school will be able to accommodate 2,100 students to start with room for expansion if necessary. And it is expected to be open in the fall of 2019. A public meeting on the project is scheduled for February. And after months of challenges and legal issues, one new business on the Suncoast is finally opening today. 
the Cask and Ale in downtown Sarasota, inviting everyone to see their new place this afternoon. Owners announced plans for the location back in May, but the restaurant and cocktail lounge took several months to get approval from the city commission. The struggle had to do with opposition from some downtown locals who complained that it would create too much noise and traffic. Commissioners ultimately approved the plan, though, and you can check out the new lounge as early as 4.30 this afternoon and hopefully let us know what you think of the new location. And if you end up having too much to drink this weekend, there's several ways to get home without driving. Have a designated driver, call a cab, or take advantage of the tow-to-go service that Gold Coast Eagle Distributing and AAA are teaming up for. It offers free tows and free rides home Saturday night through Monday morning at 6 a.m. You do not have to be a AAA member to use the service. And the annual pineapple drop this weekend, once again, it's being held at Lemon Avenue and Main Street. The event's also free and open to the public. You can ring in the new year with ABC7 Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan, who will lead that countdown. And also the Sarasota Police Department would like to remind partygoers of ways to stay safe while you're out there. In the past, some people have celebrated the new year by firing a weapon into the air, which is dangerous and illegal. Remember, what goes up must come down. At the Sarasota Police Department, we just want you to celebrate responsibly and have a good time. Police also advise the community to leave backpacks, coolers, and alcohol at home. All the precautions aimed at helping keep down anxiety and everyone ring in the new year happily. But if you can't make it out, though, ABC7 will be streaming the festivities at the Pineapple Drop live on our website, mysuncoast.com. If you do go, there are some road closures you need to be aware of. Central Avenue will be closed from Main Street to First Street. First Street will be closed from Central Avenue to Pineapple Avenue. And Pineapple Avenue will be closed from First to Main. For a complete list of closures, you can also visit our website at mysuncoast.com. Yes, indeed. And uh, how will the weather? It's going to be cold today and tonight, but then there's warmer weather coming we through for New hope. Year's. We we definitely have hope. Yes, definitely. We need hope. Right. <laughs> but uh, for for tonight is probably going to be the chilliest night of our forecast for a, for a long stretch at least. Okay. Uh, so you got to prepare for that. And then it uh, looks like New Year's Eve won't be uh, uh, it'll be a little more tolerable. I should say. Good to hear. Good and, to hear. And then I'm things sure really will. rebound by New Year's Day. So it looks pretty good there. Thanks. We'll talk about it in weather. Sounds good. And also coming up on my Sun Coast, I'm remembering two screen legends that passed away this week as some local actors share their fond memories of Debbie Reynolds and Carrie Fisher. And coming up a little later in the hour, a hack attack. President Obama takes bold actions against Russian intelligence operatives believed to be involved in a cyber attack on the U.S.'s election process. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Google GoWildHonda.com. Lease a CRV for $219 during Wild's final clearance. Just $219 and zero down. Now at GoWildHonda.com or visit Wild Honda Sarasota. It's gotta be wild. Holiday scratch-offs are here, and oh, they make great surprises. Imagine the joy they will bring with over $126 million in prizes. Use them for a wreath or a place card for your feast. Attach them, scratch them, and let the magic happen. Holiday scratch-offs. The Florida Lottery has them. Just imagine. Is a death beating you down? You need a discipline. You need the Debt Ninja. If you owe ten thousand dollars or more to the IRS, you could be facing wage garnishments, levies, liens, property seizure, cancellation of business license, closure of business. The Debt Ninja fights your IRS debt. That's why you need the Debt Ninja. The Debt Ninja has found the best companies in the country who are on your side to fight debt. 
Want to learn if you qualify for the IRS Financial Hardship Program? Stop the IRS from garnishing your wages. Even if your bank account has been seized, if you have undeclared taxes, if you have existing IRS debt, it's not too late to call, so grab your phone now. Call the Debt Ninja at 800-945-0083. That's 800-945-0083. Settle your IRS debt to get the power of the Debt Ninja. Dial this number now, 800-945-0083. Google GoWildHonda.com. Lease a Civic for $179 during Wild's final clearance. Just $179 and zero down. Now at GoWildHonda.com or visit Wild Honda Sarasota. It's got to be wild. We finally made it to Friday, but with a change. Hello, I'm meteorologist Josh Stone, and we're looking at advisories and some issues here that the National Weather Service has issued, so let's check them out. What do we have? Well, it's not going to be a good swimming or boating day. We've got a small craft advisory until 4 p.m. We have a high surf advisory until 7 p.m. We have a high rip current risk, and also a red flag warning will go into effect at 10 a.m. this morning until 5 p.m. You know, uh, John Scalzi showed this last night really is a great depiction of what happens with the rip currents. You have all these waves that pile up against the shore and, well, they, they, that stream gets uh, sucked back out here uh, because of all the waves being pushed in the shore. You have to fill this void. So this was a dyed water here. It kind of shows where this rip current goes. If you get stuck in this, it can actually pull you maybe about two, three hundred yards out into the water. So uh, if you ever get stuck in that, really the best thing to do is swim parallel to the beach so you get out of that channel of, of a rip current and then uh, you can swim back to the beach uh, for safety. But uh, that's what a rip current is. Piles of water get pushed into the shore and then there's a stream that gets uh, sucked all the way back out. And so you need to just watch out for that. But really, it's not going to be a good day to go into the water at all today. We have strong winds out of the north. That's transporting that cooler air. We're talking about winds 15 to 20 miles per hour with wind gusts up to 25 miles per hour today. The temperature right now, 55 degrees. Look at the dew point at 25. It shows how much moisture there's in the atmosphere, and there's not a lot of it compared to yesterday when we had dew points in the 60s. Today we're going to call for mostly sunny skies, windy conditions, and then much cooler, especially by tonight with our lows dropping down into the lower 40s and areas inland into the upper 30s. Our Titan radar remains quiet. We did have some showers that came through here the mid to late evening hours last night. Now this whole cold front has moved to the north or excuse me, to the south. You can see it's 72 in Key West for the dew point, so it's pretty muggy down there, while it's only 25 for the dew point here in Sarasota, 23 in Tallahassee, so definitely feels a lot drier when you walk outside. Future cast not really showing much other than maybe a few high clouds that could get in here by this afternoon, but we are calling for mostly sunny to sunny skies. And then look what happens. The clouds come in from the south as we get into tomorrow and uh, on Sunday. So a wind shift, and that's going to rebound our temperatures back into the mid to upper 70s. So we have to deal with 24 hours of this cooler weather, and then finally we'll rebound. Big story up here in the northeast. They're dealing with a lot of snow up there, 18 to 24 inches of snow in the higher elevations. But we don't have to deal with that. We're just dealing with the cooler air. 64 degrees would be our high. North and northeasterly winds at 15 to 20 miles per hour. We do rebound by New Year's Day, high 79. And then some rain comes into the area as we get into early to mid next week. Don? Thanks a lot, Josh. Taking a look at Suncoast Roadways. Uh, Manatee County and Sarasota County are pretty normal for this time of the morning, which means not a lot of volume and no accidents or delays. Um, the Sunshine Skyway Bridge had been closed southbound. And I don't... It still is the case. Southbound lanes on the Sunshine Skyway Bridge are closed. So do be aware of that. You cannot travel south towards Mantee County on the bridge. Otherwise, everything in the Sun Coast is looking pretty good this morning thus far. 
Now, after the tragic loss of both Carrie Fisher and Debbie Reynolds this week, some Suncoast local actors are recalling their best memories with them. Both women being remembered not just for their immense talent, but also as kind, loving, and strong human beings. ABC 7's Linda Carson has more. The deaths of Debbie Reynolds and Carrie Fisher hit Mary Benzel, the executive director of the Van Wezel, hard. They were not just big stars to her, they were personal friends. Carrie will carry in our hearts as Princess Leia, and Debbie, I'll always think of the great times we had. Mary had often booked Debbie at the Van Wezel and other venues. I was lucky enough to work with Debbie Reynolds a number of times, and she was just a hoot. So much fun and a consummate performer. Mary loved going to dinner with Debbie. She was bubbly. I will tell you this, she took her wig off, kicked her feet up on the table, and ordered the best bottle of champagne in the house. And sometimes Debbie would mention the scandal that rocked the country when Eddie Fisher dumped her for Elizabeth Taylor. One thing Debbie would say, you know, when we were out at dinner, she'd said, I just had the worst taste in men, the worst luck. But through it all, Debbie always showed why she was so perfect for that movie, The Unsinkable Molly Brown. She kept that moniker of unsinkable because she went on. You know, she lost her fortune, she got it back, and she never stopped working. Mary also knew Carrie Fisher and was almost able to bring her show, Wishful Drinking, to the Van Wezel. She would tell the whole story of her life, and she had a blackboard where she had Elizabeth Taylor's picture here, and her mother's picture here, and Eddie Fisher here, and she would diagram, and this is who this person is and she was so quick with the joke. Suncoast director, choreographer, singer and dancer Dwayne Barrett also knew Debbie Reynolds. He performed with her on a cruise ship in 1994. It was a cruise line company called the Royal, uh, Royal Viking Cruise Line and she came on as a guest entertainer so we got to have dinner with her, we got to meet her, we got to open for her in her show and we got to learn a lot of amazing stories about her and her career. She liked to hang out with the cast. Go to like the the Midnight Sun Lounge and she would shake a tail feather with us. And reminisce about filming Singing in the Rain and how she learned Gene Kelly wore a toupee. She's on the ladder and they were chit-chatting and she was chewing gum and she, they said, action, and she took her chewing gum and stuck it under the ladder, which she's standing upon, and Gene Kelly's standing on it, and then his toupee got stuck to the chewing gum. And she often spoke of her daughter, Carrie. She loved her with all of her heart, and you could see when she talked about her, she would still light up. And so Debbie Reynolds will long be remembered, not only for her international career, but for her appearances here on the stage of the Van Wezel, and for her friendships with the people in our community. Linda Carson, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Wonderful tribute for sure. Now still ahead on Good Morning Suncoast, we'll have a sneak peek at some of the most anticipated electronic gadgets set to hit the market in 2017. And coming up at 5.30, Times Square holds one of the biggest New Year's Eve parties. We'll show you what New York is doing to prepare and what big names you can expect to see at this year's event. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7. Big changes are coming to the Sun Coast in 2017 from efforts to revive past prestige to a return of some things many hoped were long gone. We're set to become the rowing capital of the world, and there could be many more new reasons for people to flock to our area. I'm Haley Wilgus. Join us as we look ahead to the new year and count down our top stories. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7, your Sun Coast News. We're here for you. Selling your home? Insist on a 3D showcase tour from Gulf Shores Realty. Virtual tours are flat and boring and look more like a slideshow than a tour. A 3D tour from Gulf Shores Realty is like actually walking through the home without the drive. Get instant access to your next home from any device. Multiple views give home buyers a perspective like no other. For a limited time, mention ABC7 and Gulf Shores Realty will provide a complimentary 3D tour with your new listing. Don't miss the 19th annual Thunder by the Bay Motorcycle Festival, January 5th through the 8th, to benefit Suncoast Charities for Children. This year's festival welcomes special guest Blue Oyster Cult to the premier sports campus at Lakewood Ranch on January 8th at 4 p.m. Admission is free. Festival events include a sporting clay tournament, kickoff party, welcome Thunder event, cruise for cash, charity motorcycle ride, and a two-day rockin' and riding at the ranch festival featuring vendors, live music, a taste of Thunder area, and more. VIP tickets are available. For tickets and info, visit thunderbythebay.org. Sarasota, we're uncorking something special at Michael's Wine Cellar and Tasting Room. Shop in a relaxed atmosphere with our wine specialists. 
you'll find 1,000 international wines, 200 under $20. National brand and boutique liquors at competitive pricing. Handcrafted beers. Stop by Michael's Wine Cellar and Tasting Room today and let us show you something exceptional. Welcome back. It's 525 this morning, and the Consumer Electronics Show is less than a week away. Yes, at the event, some amazing gadgets are set to be unveiled, and ABC's Diane Macedo and Kenneth Gibson give us a look-see. In today's Tech Bytes, preparations are underway for the Consumer Electronics Show. CES kicks off next week in Las Vegas. One item already being talked about, Samsung's new curved monitor. It comes in two sizes and is designed for gamers with an especially high resolution. Twitter CEO is reaching out directly to its users to see what changes they want to see in 2017. The top wishes include ways to cut down on harassment, a better way to bookmark shared articles, and being able to edit tweets. Amazon is moving forward with plans to place warehouses in the sky. The company reportedly got patent approval for blimps that will be stocked with products. They would launch drones to deliver packages from those blimps within minutes, and the blimps may one day fly over sporting events and deliver food and merchandise directly to fans. It almost sounds like if the Onion had a TV network, that would be <laughs> part of it. But that's true. Those are your Tech Bites. Have a great day. Tech Bites, brought to you by Bounty. More doing chores for mom, Pearl? More doing chores for dad, Pearl. More earning something you love, Pearl. Bounty is more absorbent, so the role can last 50% longer than the leading ordinary brand. So you get more life per role. Bounty, the quicker picker upper. I don't want to put life on hold because of a headache. That's why I use Excedrin. It has two pain fighters plus a booster. And for some, headache relief starts in just 15 minutes. Now, moments lost to headaches are moments gained with Excedrin. From the moment a puppy comes into the world, the soul of a wolf is also born. And even as adults, they share an evolutionary connection. That's why there's meat-rich, grain-free, blue wilderness. Because inside your dog lives the soul of a wolf. On the next Black Almanac. Sunday morning at 7.30 on ABC7. Are you a food lover, restaurant goer, or home cook? Then check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC 7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blogs, and helpful step-by-step -step videos. And you'll love the restaurant guide with direct links to your favorite Suncoast eateries. Whether you're cooking in or dining out, whet your appetite with tasty tips from Chef Judy at MySuncoast.com slash dining. At SWC Properties, we pride ourselves in providing to you the very best in customer satisfaction and the secrets getting out. Maybe that's why so many people have chosen to list their homes with our friendly and qualified agents. After all, it only makes sense to list with a growing agency that markets in so many places. To list your home with SWC, give us a call at our office and ask for Teresa Witt. ABC7 is the most watched, most trusted news source on the Sun Coast, and we owe it all to you, our loyal viewers. Thank you for making us number one. Christmas Tradition by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Make your holidays sparkle with style. Browse our amazing showroom, cute collectible cottages, and beautiful Christmas displays. Find the inspiration, selection, and quality you need to deck the halls merry and bright. Christmas Traditions also features the area's largest selection of quality pre-lit Christmas trees. Every size, shape, and color, and plenty of decorations to make your home shine for the holidays. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Visit us on New 301, just a quarter mile north of University Parkway. 
Are you paying too much for your cable or satellite TV? The U.S. government passed a bill mandating free over-the-air digital transmission of all broadcast network television channels. That means with the new TV Freeway digital antenna, you can get free HD programming from your favorite broadcast networks 24-7 without a bill. You just plug it into the back of your TV and start watching all of your favorite broadcast programs for free. There are no contracts to sign, no hidden fees, and no monthly fees. Just free HD broadcast TV. Take it with you anywhere. Call or go online now to get your TV freeway stick for the incredibly low price of only $14.99. But wait, call or click now and you can get a second TV freeway stick for a second TV. Just pay a separate fee. But you have to order right now. Call 1-800-809-5196 to get your TV freeway. Call now or go to tvfreeway.com. So call 1-800-809-5196. This offer's not in any store. Call now. Coming up on Good Morning Suncoast, cyber attack crackdown as President Obama takes action against Russia for its involvement in the hack on U.S. elections. When you pick up those certain indications of where a person has been, it becomes far more likely that you can actually find him. And the manhunt for an ISIS leader is narrowing as new information has U.S. officials hot on the terrorist trail. And developing overnight, a standoff in Miami forces people out of their homes and SWAT teams to take up position. We'll have the latest. Live from the ABC7 studios, this is Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. Welcome back on this Friday morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jacqueline Matter. And I'm Don Brennan, along with Josh Stone, who's in for John Scottley for the final day. <laughs> the, the final, final day. day. The final time, time of 2016, <laughs> right? Okay. You're not exactly. working tomorrow, right? No, no, I'm not working tomorrow. So you're done for I'm the year I'm going to be out, you know, this. with the, you know, supporting Bob Harrigan at the yeah, you know, pineapple, pineapple, pineapple drop. drop. There you go. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm interested to see the pineapple drop. Yeah, it'll be a good time. Yeah, so. our version of the ball dropping. Things you know, I thought I'd pineapple. never see, a yeah. pineapple drop. <laughs> <laughs> and last night when I went to bed, it was about 78 degrees, about 10 o'clock. I woke up this morning and I had to put on my Ugg boots. So. <laughs> you had to put on your Ugg boots, really. Yeah, Join the club. That's outstanding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, quite change. We've been talking about this for several days now, and it has finally arrived. It's in time for Friday, right? Well, National Weather Service has put out advisories and even warnings, so let's check them out. It's not going to be a great swimming or boating day. Sorry about that. Small craft advisory until 4 p.m., high surf advisory until 7 p.m., high rip current risk, and a red flag warning goes into effect at 10 a.m. this morning, and that will be until 5 p.m. Okay, we have sustained winds, very strong out of the north. Look at that, Anna Marie Island, 22 miles per hour. These are not wind gusts. These are sustained winds coming down from the north. These northerly cooler winds are transporting that chilly air into the sun coast, and that's going to be the story today. It's going to feel quite different and then did over the last several days. Remember, not too long ago, maybe about four or five days ago, we were topping out in record uh, temperatures with 85, 86 degree temperatures. Right now, it's in the 50s and will be a little warmer than this, but the question is how much warmer? I'll have that answer coming up. All right, taking a look at Sun Coast Roadways. Uh, the Sunshine Skyway Bridge southbound is closed. Uh, Block the road is blocked at exit 16, which is Sunshine Skyway Lane. So southbound lanes on the Skyway Bridge are closed, so be aware of that. If you're traveling down towards Manatee County in Sarasota, you cannot use the southbound Sunshine Skyway Bridge. Otherwise, everything is moving along on the Sun Coast, Manatee County, Bradenton proper, all looking good right now. Not a lot of people on the roadways, and those who are are getting where they want to go without any impediments this morning. Now, topping our news this half hour, the U.S. and President Obama expelling nearly three dozen Russian diplomats. This action being considered as the most forceful American response ever to a state-sponsored cyber attack. ABC's Janae Norvin has those details. President Obama sending a powerful message to punish Russia, striking back against the cyber attacks aimed at influencing the election. The sanctions today were aggressive and they were bold. 
and they're designed to send a message to Russia that this type of behavior is unacceptable. The president taking executive action to expel 35 Russian intelligence operatives, giving them and their families just 72 hours to get out of the U.S. Also shutting down two Russian compounds used for gathering intelligence in Maryland and New York and slapping sanctions on Moscow's two leading intelligence agencies, four officials and two cyber criminals wanted by the FBI, but not Russian President Vladimir Putin, despite his alleged involvement. Not much happens in Russia without Vladimir Putin. The Obama administration reporting two Russian groups hacked Democratic officials in the DNC, saying the hackers mimicked email systems, tricking victims into handing over their credentials and then stealing tens of thousands of internal emails. Top Republicans supporting Obama's sanctions, saying they're overdue, but President-elect Donald Trump still not convinced, repeatedly refusing to accept the conclusion reached by 17 intelligence agencies about the Kremlin's involvement. I think we ought to get on with our lives. I think that computers have complicated lives very greatly. Uh, the whole you know, age of computer has made it where nobody knows exactly what's going on. But Trump saying he will meet with the leaders of the intelligence community next week. Russia is now punching back at the U.S., ordering the closure of the Anglo-American School of Moscow, which serves the children of U.S. embassy officials. Janae Norman, ABC News, Washington. And U.S. officials also have new tracking information about an ISIS leader. Authorities say they have fresh intel on some recent movements after the ISIS leader had stayed under the radar for months. One official revealing the U.S. has, quote, been aware of some of Baghdadi's movements, but unable to offer additional details due to the sensitive sensitivity of the intelligence. No one is saying if the terrorist leader is in Iraq or hunkered down in Syria. Several efforts to find him are underway, though, no matter how slight leads may be. And if there's a trail, it is, it is at least possible uh, to begin to pick up certain things. And when you pick up those certain indications of where a person has been, it becomes far more likely that you can actually find him. Baghdadi has been encouraging his fighters to stand strong in Mosul, while the U.S. has been aiming to take away his layers of protection and security. The reward for his capture has also just been raised, with the U.S. now offering $25 million for his capture. The U.S. Secretary of State facing backlash after his speech on Middle Eastern policies. You know, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu took issue with John Kerry and called the speech a disappointment. In his speech, Kerry criticized recent settlements in the Prime Minister's two-state solution, claiming they cause a problem moving forward in the peace process. But his current coalition is the most right-wing in Israeli history with an agenda driven by the most extreme elements. This conflict is and has always been about Israel's very right to exist. Netanyahu also maintained that the U.S. was behind the U.N. Security Council resolution that condemned Israeli settlements in the West Bank and East Jerusalem. And this morning, a developing story in Miami involving a police standoff. It all started late last night when a man receiving a warrant turned violent. Authorities say after the man was handed the warrant, he began to shoot a weapon. This prompted both SWAT teams and the North Miami Police Department to form a barricade around the home. After several hours, we're told the standoff has ended, but many details are still emerging. With North Miami's local ABC station reporting people in danger near the scene have been removed, police are continuing to investigate at this time. And also developing this in Broward County, police are trying to catch a suspect involved in a string of shooting cases, the most recent of which killing an 8-year-old boy. Rashid Cunningham Jr. was on his way home from a children's birthday party when the shooting took place. Witnesses say a car pulled up and opened fire on the child and his family. I heard rapid gunfire. Consistent. Pow, 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 pow. He was transported to Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital, and that's where he was pronounced dead. Two other members of the same family were also shot recently, police suspecting they've been specifically targeted. The police are continuing to investigate and have offered up a $3,000 reward for information leading to an arrest and conviction. And new details are emerging on the victims of a Florida plane crash this week. A Minnesota company has announced that its president and his friend were the ones killed in the crash. The two victims, Daryl Ingle Sabi and Deb Solzrud, were both from Minnesota. 
Officials say they rode a single-engine aircraft going from Tennessee to Florida. When preparing to land at a private airport near Daytona Beach, the plane crashed into a nearby yard. Investigators have yet to say if weather was a factor in the crash, but heavy fog had diverted several commercial flights from nearby Daytona Beach International Airport earlier. And in the aftermath of Hurricane Matthew, some people are being threatened with jail time after skipping jury duty during the storm. When Hurricane Matthew raced towards Central Florida, community leaders closed everything down and warned residents to stay off the streets, stay home, or risk arrest. Terry Morell followed those instructions to the letter, even though she had jury duty. Two months later, she got a threat in her mailbox of possible jail time for staying home that day and shirking her jury duty responsibility. Officials do say the letter was a mistake, but Terry says the ordeal is concerning. I explained the situation, indicating that October 6th was my jury date, and obviously a mistake had been made, and she said that she would mark me excused. Each person should go out there and recheck their jury number uh, to confirm that you have been excused. Orange County claims the letters were sent out automatically and obviously in error. Locals affected by Hurricane Matthew are now being warned about a phone scam. Authorities say Florida locals in St. Augustine have been receiving calls that say county staff will be conducting damage assessments on their property. But these calls are fake. St. John County officials say they made no such calls at, at all, advising anyone who receives any of these calls from the county must call their department to double check that it is true. And as the year wraps up, officials saying 2016 is expected to be the hottest year on record. That's according to an assessment by the World Meteorological Organization that would mean 16 of the 17 hottest years on record have been the century. The other was just before the century, 1998. The assessment says according to preliminary data, 2016's global temperatures are about 1.2 degrees above pre-industrial levels. And looking ahead to next year, this morning we also have a special preview of Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve. ABC's Dania Backus brings us the sneak peek. It's the 45th anniversary of America's biggest celebration of the year. Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve with Ryan Seacrest will have the biggest musical acts of 2016. It's almost easier to say who's not performing because there's such a long list of people who are performing this year. The party will include five and a half hours of performances and special reports. I remember growing up watching this show and then to become a part of it uh, for 10 years now. And it's just, it feels, it feels like I'm part of the family. Fergie, Haley Steinfeld. To be performing on it and be a part of such an incredible program and, and along with amazing artists that I'm a huge fan of, um, it's truly an honor. I'm very excited about it. John Legend, DNCE, and Fifth Harmony, just a couple of artists scheduled to ring in the new year. Ty Dolla Sign and Kid Ink are performing with us for Ooh, Worth yay. It. And, that's my boy. Yeah. and then that's my girl's new, so you get to see that choreo. And, and right before the ball drops, 10-time American Music Award winner Mariah Carey. For the first time, there will be celebrations in every time zone. So as it turns 2017 across the country, they will celebrate in that moment. Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve with Ryan Seacrest starts at 8 p.m. Donya Backus, ABC News, Los Angeles. All right, still ahead. Now, have you made your New Year's resolutions? Oh, I keep thinking of them, I, but I haven't gotten an official You've one. had a whole year to come up I, with. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm working on it. Yeah, they're too. supposed to not yeah. be general ones, like be a better person or world peace. You need to be more specific is what the experts say. Oh, oh. well, yes, what, about you, what about yeah, you, John? What about you? I want to be a better person, a much better person, specifically. Well, that's good. <laughs> See, there you go. I'll have to think about mine. I've still got a few days, or, well, like in 24 hours. It's cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're, we're down to the wire here. Like taxes, uh, you can ask for a deferment. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Thanks, Don, for the, for the life tip. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to help you guys out, help you along here. What about weather? Weather, well, we have a change. Walk outside, it feels a little different than it did yesterday. It certainly does. And, um, the question is, what's going to happen for New Year's Eve? Because a lot of people are going to be outside, trying to enjoy the festivities. Well, we'll see what we can do to warm things up for you. All right. We're coming back. Look at the, the tips on some resolutions and how you can better make them stick.
every week on Animal Outtakes, it's a new adventure. This week on Animal Outtakes, preserving and protecting our seabirds. Learn how you can help. Plus, Kids and Critters goes down on the farm with a couple of pigs. And just wait until you meet our Dog of the Week. Watch Animal Outtakes every week on ABC7. Selling your home? Insist on a 3D showcase tour from Gulf Shores Realty. Virtual tours are flat and boring and look more like a slideshow than a tour. A 3D tour from Gulf Shores Realty is like actually walking through the home without the drive. Get instant access to your next home from any device. Multiple views give home buyers a perspective like no other. For a limited time, mention ABC7 and Gulf Shores Realty will provide a complimentary 3D tour with your new listing. Sarasota, we're uncorking something special at Michael's Wine Cellar and Tasting Room. Shop in a relaxed atmosphere with our wine specialists. You'll find a thousand international wines, 200 under $20. National brand and boutique liquors at competitive pricing. Handcrafted beers. Stop by Michael's Wine Cellar and Tasting Room today and let us show you something exceptional. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Attention small business owners. Penn Funding announces the easiest and fastest business funding program, the Platinum Business Account. We needed cash fast. Business is good, but this is an emergency. We needed some new equipment, and the banks wouldn't help us. At Penn Funding, we like to say yes, you're approved. With your Platinum Business Account, you could qualify for up to $50,000 or more. This amazing new business account funding program is so effective, you could have the cash you need in just days. I called, spoke with an agent who pre-qualified us, and connected me. Call now for your Platinum Business Account. If you've been in business for at least six months, you could qualify for up to $50,000 or more in just days. I called Penn Funding and had my money fast. Need cash for your business? Call Penn Funding now. Call 800-658-3433. How's the... Uh line going the song weather outside is frightful well we're going to walk out to quite a change this morning look at what the national weather service has given us these advisories oh boy here we go we have a small craft advisory until 4 p.m a high surf advisory until 7 p.m high rip current risk today and the red flag warning starts at 10 a.m until 5 red flag warning just shows us that it's not good to burn things outside with strong winds and very low dew points we could get a brush fire going, so don't burn things outside. I highly suggest not to do that today. We have strong northerly winds. A cold front passed us by last night, and look at this. 22 mile per hour sustained winds here in Anna Maria Island. 16 miles per hour at Longbow Key. It's 15 miles per hour in Siesta Key. Very strong northerly winds transporting that cooler air. You're going to walk outside this morning. You're going to be like, holy cow, what happened? Because temperature is really are going to shock you here. 55 degrees uh, is the current temperature. Look at the dew point at 25. Yesterday we had dew points in the mid to upper 60s, so it felt uh, quite muggy out there. Well, not today. This is almost like desert type of dew point. So, uh, yeah, this is what's going on. It's going to be a shock to the system. We will have sunny skies, though. That's good, right? But it's going to be rather windy and also much cooler Really not going to be the best uh, beach day. Uh, really, I suggest do not go in the water. And there, there may be a few surfers or kiteboarders that may want to go out there, but just be very, very careful. 
Boating is obviously not going to be good because we have rough conditions in the waters today. Five to seven feet seas, man, not a good boating day at all. All right, radar is quiet, but we did receive a little rain yesterday as that front came in. Yeah, 0 0.03, three hundredths of an inch came in yesterday. Not much. I mean, we're down, uh, getting close to almost four inches of rainfall for the year. Or so we, we need to make that up. And it does look like a wave of energy will be coming our way as we get into uh, early next week to bring us some widespread rainfall. Maybe just a quarter of an inch of rainfall possibly by the time it's done, but still that's better than nothing, right? So radar very quiet right now. Dew points in the 20s for most of the northern half of the state. And then down in Key West, well, the cold front hasn't crossed them by, but their dew points are in the 70s at this time. So the future cast really shows just a few high clouds, and that's about it. We're calling for sunny skies today. Some heavy snow falling up in New England, but the rest of the country pretty quiet. I talked about the boating forecast. Yeah, not so much. With winds looking like this, not a good idea to take the boat out. Highs today will be in the low to mid 60s with blustery conditions. And here we go. By New Year's Day, we rebound. Our winds will come up in the south, high as 79 degrees, and the rain comes in by early next week. Don? Thanks, Josh. Taking a look at the roadways. One major thing to take note of, I-275 southbound, the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. Lanes are closed, southbound, that is. So be aware of that. You will not be able to travel southbound on the Skyway Bridge until further notice, of which we will keep you posted. As far as... Regular roadways and the highways and byways on the Sun Coast. Everything else is moving along at a normal clip this morning here at almost 6 o'clock. All is well in Manatee County all the way to South Sarasota County. Things are moving along. Now the holidays winding down. Most people are thinking about getting healthy. And according to doctors, physical activity is one of the best things you can do for your health. That's right. Before you start a new workout routine, you need to know how fit you actually are. Begin with the following simple fitness tests. Measure how far forward you can reach while seated on the floor with your legs in front of you. Note how many half sit-ups, standard push-ups, or modified push-ups you can do in one session. Track how long it takes to walk one mile and then consult a doctor about any plan you decide to undertake. There you go. You've got to be in shape before you can get in shape. You're still ahead on Good Morning Sun Coast. Yeah, some new activity in one popular eagle nest. Stay with us. We'll have a look at that coming up. All hands on deck. What's up? I want to point out three tips for using the home computer more safely. Point away. First, stop. Make sure your software is up to date and that you've password protected your computer's login and Wi-Fi connection. Next, think before visiting a site, opening attachments, or clicking on links. Then connect, knowing you're helping make the web safer for you and for everyone. Make Stop, Think, Connect part of your daily online routine. Whee! Designers do it with style. Tell me what's going on here. Because Why you don't like little... my hair? The Mark and Mandy Show. In-depth design ideas. What is up with the tuck tape here? Let's cover it up. Amazing beauty and fashion tips. So Halle Berry has amazing skin. She Her secret it. is coffee ground. No. Delicious recipes. Today I'm going to show you a special dish that is sure to please that special someone in your life. Watch the Mark and Mandy Show right here on your favorite channel. <laughs> Every child follows a path in life. For many, that path will lead them to a door, a door that gives them a place to grow, to learn, to belong, a place to forge their future. Because while many doors open, these doors transform. They did for us. Support your local boys and girls clubs. Great futures start here. Check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com for Chef Judy's favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blogs, step-by-step -step videos, and Suncoast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySuncoast.com slash dining. Three, two, one.
One. We're ringing in the new year with huge savings for you at Bacon's Furniture and Design. Save 30, 50, even 70% off name brand furniture throughout our showroom as we welcome 2017. See the flex steel styles you love like Danvers, Dillon, Mystic, Fleet Street sectionals, and more, all at the guaranteed lowest prices. Now that's what I'm talking about. Start the new year off with a fresh look in your home from Bacon's Furniture and Design in Sarasota. Nobody beats Bacon's. I owed the IRS $10,000. I owed the IRS $20,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I call Tax Solutions Now, and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions Now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. We saved our home and overcame the most powerful collection agency in the world. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions Now. Call 1-800-565-7740. That's 1-800-565-7740. They're coming. They're coming. The baby eaglets are getting closer to coming into this world. Take a look at this. Just yesterday, one of the eggs started to crack. Wow, that's awesome. Though it still has not hatched, it's getting there. Yes, and that's we're taking a live look now at the nest. That was yesterday with the egg cracking now. Mom is just sitting there incubating those eggs in Southwest Florida. It seems we're going to have to keep waiting. We're not alone. We are told this live stream has been viewed from all over the world, including some people taking a look from China, which is included in this world. So, yeah, <laughs> look at that. Bald eagle's about to. Maybe it'll be here on New all. Year's Eve. That Maybe. would be fun. That would be cool. A birthday to New remember. Year's baby. Yeah. New Year's there baby. There you go. All right. Well, we'll see more of that coming up later. It's 5.57. Coming back with more news and headlines after this. <laughs> 